feeling completely clueless about your flying school entrance exam, wondering what the exam format is, how to prepare and what the selection criteria are. What if you're not ready for the theory and interview and you miss your chance to get in? This exam could be the only thing standing between you and your career as a pilot. Can you afford to get it wrong? Don't worry, I have got you covered. In this video, I will explain exactly what to expect in the exam, share tips to ace both interview and your written exam and even provide sample papers to boost your confidence for the preparation. So let's make sure that you're fully ready to secure your spot for the flying school you dream of. disclaimer before we dive into things this video is purely for education purpose I'm not affiliated or authorized by any flying school and all information is shared to you on basis of my expertise and experience to help you prepare better so firstly let's get first very important thing straight and that is that if you are registered for this flying school exam you are either 12th past or you're studying in class 12 whatever the case may be the point here is that they will not ask you anything you don't know I mean by that is they're not gonna ask you anything related with DGCA or flying syllabus they will only ask you how much you know till your class 12th so now let's break it down so this exam is divided into two parts part one is objective based theory exam and if you pass your part one then you are invited for part two, which is one-on-one -on -one interview. Now let's break down what part one is and then we'll discuss part two. So the format of the exam is an objective-based question. So these will be an objective-based questions and there will be four sections of these exams. First section will be for physics, second will be for maths, third will be for your logical reasoning and fourth will be general knowledge what types of questions you may ask. We'll go through some sample questions in this video. Stay tuned and I may also give you a downloadable sample question paper. So don't worry about it. Now let's talk about the timing. So the exam will comprise of about 60 minutes and in those 60 minutes you have to finish your exam. Do not expect that they're gonna allow you to have a calculator with you. Sometimes they may give you a rough piece of paper to solve or to just do your numericals. If not, then you just have to do it on the question paper and they will take away the question paper. You just have to mark the correct option on the question paper itself. Do not forget to carry your pen and pencil. That is the most embarrassing thing that if you do do not carry a pen and pencil and expect the examiner to provide you one, right? Your Aadhaar card is extremely important. Without that, they will not let you sit in the exam. Do not take the calculators with you. So now we know that we have four sections and 60 minutes. Basically, that means that you only have 15 minutes each section and they are very easy questions. They're not gonna be too tough. Again, we're gonna go through some questions and you'll understand how they work. So in these 60 minutes, you have to score 70%, right? And assuming 10 questions each, you have, you will get about 40 questions total. You even may have 15 questions in some sections, but normally they only give you 10 questions per section. So 40 questions, 70% will be your passing mark. Now remember, that is just a passing mark. After that, let's say 100 people appear for this exam and 80 people scored 70 above. So not all those 80 people will be uh, getting a, a sure shot seat for their flying, right? So what they'll do is they will now have a cutoff exam marks, a cutoff score. On basis of that cutoff score, you will be then selected and called for your part two of this entrance exam. And the part two of the entrance exam is your actual interview, one-on-one -on -one interview. We'll talk about how to deal with one-on-one -on -one interview. I'll even keep a webinar for you, which you can join. Let me know in the comment box if you need a webinar on how to prepare for your part two interview, because they may take your part two interview on the same day of your theory exam, maybe in the evening or maybe the next following day depending how quick they uh, process your results. So now let's go through uh, some of the sample papers and don't worry I'll give you a link how to download the sample paper but let's go through the physics section. So the first section as I told you was physics right. If you see in physics it's a very basic physics they're gonna ask the questions about right. Let's say question number two. 
A heat engine absorbs 2,500 joules of heat and exhausts 1,500 joules to a cold reservoir. What is the efficiency of this engine? So these types of basic questions, right? There are other questions too, like, you know, uh, question number three, if you go, what is the equivalent resistance for the portion of circuit shown in the diagram? So can you not just see the diagram and tell what the equivalent resistance will be? No worry, if you don't know the answers, I've also got the answer key at the end for you. So all you have to do is just look up the answers over here. We have the answer key for physics, maths, logical reasoning, and general knowledge, right? So these types of questions you can expect in physics. Now let's go through section two. Section two is simple basic maths, not even 10th, 11th or 12th. It is that simple. Look at this question number one. Give the list of numbers, one, six, three, nine, sixteen, and this blah, blah, blah. What is the median? Can you not tell the median here, right? What is the sum of the first 40 even positive integers? Can you not tell that, right? Again, remember you are not allowed to have calculators. You will have a piece of pen and paper. You can do all the calculations there. If an item is purchased at rupees 150 and sold at rupees 165, what percent of the original cost is the profit? Can you not tell this? It's very simple and basic math. So in general knowledge, they most likely or they love to ask questions based on aviation topic general knowledge, right? A political knowledge. So you need to know, okay, so who is the new, uh, uh, what do you call, aviation minister in India? Uh, let's say Chandigarh Airport has been named after who, right? This is what? It's a general knowledge question, but has to do with? aviation the right. knowledge question not just the recent one but e but even the older ones like maybe they go 10 years ago they go 15 years ago who acquired the air india again you know who acquired the air india again right so it, ha it will be most likely aviation related and political related general knowledge question so try to prepare for that if you want question bank on that as well I'll try to give it to you, but it's a vast and a huge thing, right? It, this general knowledge should come to you if you are basically going through the news every day about aviation. If you are an aviation enthusiast, I will assume that you must be going through these aviation current affairs every now and then and you're aware of these topics so that's what they're expecting in general knowledge the last one is fourth which is logical reasoning logical reasonings are those type of questions which is now displayed on the screen right, now let's go through logical reasoning what can you expect in logical reasoning type questions so this is what they're going to ask in logical reasoning 7 10 8 11 9 12 what number should come next Stop, pause on the screen and see what number could come next before you even think of answering this, right? Some simple logical reason will be, let's say, uh, you know, uh, class A has a higher enrollment than class B. Class C has a lower enrollment than class B. Class A has a lower enrollment than class C. If the first two statements are true, the third statement is what? True or false? Again, this is just logic. Simple logic. It's nothing to be scared of. 11, 12, it's not even that. So the key to pass this exam is not the difficulty level of the questions. The questions are very easy. You just have to be quick. You have total of 60 minutes, but total 40 questions. You need to try to aim to finish every question in one minute. So you will have 40 minutes to finish all 40 questions. 20 minutes remaining, you can do a cross check or if you're not sure about any question, you can go through those questions again at the end, right? And when you practice at home with these sample papers, all you have to do is just set a timer of 40 minutes and then practice this question paper. So I hope this video has helped you in a way that you are feeling a little more confident and prepared for the exam. Again, remember, this is not written in stone. I cannot guarantee you any admission and you cannot just rely on this sample paper and only on this video. This is only for educational purpose. This is just to give you an idea what to expect an exam because these flying schools may change their exam formats every year. Yes, I can guarantee you that my PTI students have passed and secured their spots in those particularly flying schools last year and they are already flying and at the edge of finishing their flying. That's not the point here. You just get a basic understanding and a core knowledge of how to prepare for the exams. Yet, you still have any questions, please feel free to contact me, put your comments, questions in the comment box and I'll try to answer them. Don't be scared of the exam you must smash the exam with your confidence, right?
all the very best guys i hope to see you in indore when you come to indore come and say hello to me at bdi right and i really really hope that you score really well in part two as well if you need any help for part two entrance exam do let me know i will conduct a webinar and then i'll explain you how to prepare for the interview thank you everyone